Welcome back everyone to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in today's video we shall be creating a right click menu which will allow us to use or consume or drop any item we want. Except for as of right now the sniper and pistol rifles are not gonna work because one of the functions that we are going to reuse has not been yet adjusted for these weapons and we are going to do that tomorrow. So the first thing that I want to do is go to my UI folder and create a new widget for our menu which I'm gonna call UI usage. So we have UI usage, let's open this up. So the first thing, I'm gonna add a vertical box to have my buttons vertically. I'm gonna make sure that this thing is set to be full screen. Let's make this full screen. Then let's see, let's add two, let's add one button first. And then for this button, I need to add a border as well. So I can give some different background colors. So it matches my styling and also I will need a text. Then let's rename this button to be the use button. Make sure it's variable, set this to be fill. And then let's fill the rest of these as well. So fill this one and let's make our text centered. Now I'm gonna copy the styling from my UI inventory that I have right here. So I have my button styling for which I only need the background color. So let's paste that over here. So we have the background color of that. Then we have the border with padding three and let's copy the brush. So border padding three pixels, paste the brush and let's copy our font. So we have our font settings over here and I believe I have the same color that I have for this one. I have the same one for my text. So um, I need to copy the code itself instead of the line. It does not accept it. There we go. And let's change the text. So this is going to be the use. Then I'm going to duplicate my button and I'm going to rename this to be the drop button because I'm going to have two options use and drop for the text. Let's call this drop and the size of this panel right now doesn't matter unless you do set a size box for this but I'm gonna change this in the blueprints. So let's set these buttons up. Let's go to the graph. So let's delete all of this stuff. We need events for on drop and on use button clicks and in this widget we're gonna need a couple of variables so let's add those so we need the item variable which is our s slots structure type so let's make that instance editable exposed on spawn let's duplicate this variable call this source this is a string for the source and then we also have the index which is the integer now let's start with the drop button and I'm going to reuse some of the functionality that we already have to same time so we can go to our UI drop box to the graph in the on drop event we can let's just for simplicity let's just copy all of this so select all and copy go to your UI usage and paste that in on drop and so over here we don't need the drop uh, drag drop item operation so we can delete that and connect our execution directly into the cast and also bring out these nodes right here which came from the operation drag drop operation and replace those with the variables that we just created so we have the source item and we have the index we can just hold control and reconnect like so there we go delete these so we have our tags we have our items and we have our indexes and then I believe that should be it. Uh, it gave you probably an error on, on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to show you what it was and explain it in just a second. So this should be good for this function. We are doing a switch depending on where the item is coming from. So where the item is located in right now, then we are removing the amount that we are trying to drop. And then we are spawning this item into the world and then refreshing our inventory. So now on use, we can reuse something that is living inside of our player character preview window so we have our player preview where our character is getting displayed in the equipment panel and we can copy it on drop event because it allows us to consume goods through there so we can copy that over to our usage and now when I paste this in the same thing happened for the on drop event it does an error call and it says one or more copied nodes could not be pasted into this graph and that is because the return nodes and the event nodes are not acceptable in the event graph uh, but those are not needed here at all so again let's remove our drag drop item operation connect the execution and replace these two so we have the source and we have the 
index. So we can hold control again, reconnect these two and delete the previous ones. And this should be good. As of right now, this isn't going to work with the snipers and uh, with the pistols and rifle because this thing right here doesn't yet accept those type types, those item types, but we are going to adjust this uh, in tomorrow's video. Now, the last thing that we need to set up in this widget is its removal and I don't want to remove the items on drop or on use. Instead, I want to click on this add new, go to the override functions and look for on mouse leave. So whenever our mouse leaves this widget, it's going to get destroyed. So we can on mouse leave, we can just simply remove from from parent and this should be all good. Now we need to find a way how we can actually display this. If you have some kind of a location where you want this to be shown, like a specific one, you obviously probably want to spawn it there. I want mine to be spawned right at the middle of my mouse. So let's begin with, let's start with player slots. So in our player slots widget, in the on mouse button down, which is our overridden function, here we have the drag detected, which allows us to drag items. What we want to do is do an if branch check before this because we want to check which uh, which button is actually pressed. So we can right click and we can get mouse button, uh, get mouse, what was the name again? Uh, so the node is is mouse button down and then we can use this as a condition and for the input, input needs to go to the mouse event and mouse button in this case needs to be the left mouse button so we are checking whether we are pressing the left mouse button and if we are then we are detecting that the drag has begun then from the false route we can do another if so let's do an if and over here we want to do something very similar we can drag from the mouse event and is mouse button down connect the condition and in this case we need the right mouse button so since we are in the player slots, we can then directly from the full, uh, from the true route, we can just create a widget. And this widget then needs to be our UI usage. UI usage, let's plug in the necessary information. So we need the item, we need the slot index. And for the source, well, this is the player. So this source needs to be called player because these are our player slots. Then we can just add to the viewport. So we are adding this to the viewport and as of right now it would display this in full screen but we don't want to do that. What we want to do is set widget set uh, desired, desired size. So we want to set desired size in viewport and in my case I want to make this something like 200 by 200. You might have to adjust these values uh, depending on your needs. And then also what I want to do is again from the widget return value I want to set position, set position in viewport. Let's plug that in and now dragging from our mouse event we want to get screen get screen space position then I want to split these two because I want to get my X and Y separated then also I will separate the position in set uh, set position in viewport and then for both of these screen space position values I want to do a minus 100 since my widget is 200 units and I want this to spawn roughly in the middle where my mouse is located so this is going to give it a better location so plug those in minus 100 and then we can plug in the input values so now let's give it a go let's press play and this thing isn't going to work in if it's not a full screen so that's going to give some issues but let me show you how it works with full screen so you right click and there we go we have this we move away it gets the widget gets destroyed we can use so our health is getting added up and then we can also drop this and the items are getting dropped on the ground the way they should now if you don't run this in full screen you're gonna get this issue widget is gonna spawn away I'm not fully sure how to fix that but I think that most games probably are in full screen mode if, if they aren't then well you need to find a different way how to get the position where to spawn the widget so then the get screen space position isn't going to work for you if you know any better ways better nodes than this then leave a comment down below so that we can learn together but well for now this is the solution that I have found for this now let's set up the same thing for our uh, backpack. So what I will actually do is just copy the whole thing. So let's copy that. Let's go to our UI item data. And here we have this on mouse button down. So let's delete what we had in here. Let's reconnect this because, well, they were uh, exactly the same before. 
So let's connect the inputs to the mouse event, this one right here and this one right here as well. But for the item data, we need to do some extra checks over here on the second if branch because the item data also is used for the shop and for the chest and we don't want to consume goods from those because uh, for the store, for example, we would bypass the cost me mechanics. So what I will do over here is drag in the source. So let's get the source value. And in my case, I just want to check if this is equal to inventory. If you have a enum for this one, then obviously use your enum. If you have enums for the, the types, but well, I don't have those. So I'm using this node and then we can do a and boolean check to see if both of these are true. So are we in the inventory and are the, is the right mouse button down? So once we have done that, Everything should be good except for uh, the slot index. Replace that with your regular index because in this node uh, those are named a little bit different. Also make sure to connect the pointer event as well. And also make sure to change on create widget, make sure you change the source. So uh, plug. you can type in inventory or you can just plug in your source like this. And then, then we can give this the final test. So let's pick up the backpack and let's try this. So let's give it a go. So we can use the medical box probably. We can use the water. We can use the food. So everything seems to be working. We can also equip our West because we can just drag and drop it on top of our preview. And the same thing then works for our use. But as of right now, this doesn't work with the snipers because we haven't adjusted the type values in one of the functions. And we are going to do that in tomorrow's video. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video.